So as I'm sure you've all heard by now, the British TV host Caroline Flack passed away over the weekend, sadly taking her own life at the age of 40. And today I not only wanted to touch on some recent updates, but also give you some more background on the situation for those of you who are not as up to speed. I'm Mackenzie Smith, and let's just get right into it. So after her passing on Friday the 15th, many people are pointing fingers at the media as the cause of it, as Flack faced a lot of abuse from the media with almost everything that she did, such as when she was dating 17 year old Harry Styles when she was 31. Then the media attention amplified after the details of her alleged assault in December on her partner, Lewis Burton, were reported. Because of the shocking nature of her passing, an online petition calling for a review into the media after Flack's death has attracted more than 160,000 signatures online. With it also is a campaign urging for new legislation dubbed Caroline's Law to be implemented. This law would make it illegal to bash people online as well as record people's info online so that they can be held accountable in situations like this. But to get more into the new update that we're covering today on IO, before her passing, Caroline actually was gonna make a post online shedding some light on her situation and shutting down some of the criticism that she was getting. Though at the time, her team and family urged her not to share the post. Her family wants to share it now so that her message can live on. Caroline's mother shared the text that she received from her with the Eastern Daily Press. And since it's rather long, we're gonna put a screenshot up and I'm gonna read what I think are the most important revelations. In the post, she touched on her abuse allegations against her partner and stated that the event was a buildup from all the abuse she's taken over the span of her career. And that the event against her boyfriend was an accident, although she does own up to her mistakes. More specifically, she said, I've been pressing the snooze button on many stresses in my life for my whole life. I've accepted shame and toxic opinions on my life for over 10 years Years, and yet told myself it's all part of my job. No complaining. The problem with brushing things under the carpet is they are still there and one day someone is gonna lift that carpet up and all you're going to feel is shame and embarrassment. Then she continued speaking more directly on the aftermath of the abuse allegation from her boyfriend. She said, within 24 hours, my whole world and future was swept from under my feet and all the walls that I had taken so long to build around me collapsed. I'm suddenly on a different kind of stage and everyone is watching it happen. Then talking directly about the physical allegations, she said, but I am not a domestic abuser. We had an argument and an accident happened. An accident. The blood that someone sold to a newspaper was my blood and that was something very sad and very personal. And then she finished by saying that the reason she wanted to post this was because she wanted the abuse against her family to stop. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I got chills reading that. Like the fact that we can obviously tell that the media scrutiny was on her mind, most likely right at the time of her passing is it's just insane to me. It really does shed some light on the fact that we really do need to watch what we say and that public figures are just people too with plenty of issues that they're facing in their personal lives that we may know nothing about. Also, since the Brit Awards, we got to see Harry Styles for the first time since her passing. As I said earlier, they dated in the past and as a show of support and condolences, he wore a black ribbon on his lapel in her honor, which I thought was very nice of him. And I actually wanted to finish out this story with a really interesting tweet that I saw. So basically on the top shows past tweets from some accounts attacking and criticizing Caroline. Then below them in some pictures it shows posts from the same accounts now after her passing with them now changing their opinion completely and urging people to be kind online and even blaming the media for her passing. So I think this just gives everyone a lot to think about and it really made me look back on certain times when we were all hopping on bandwagons hating celebs, even when evidence came out later showing that we were all wrong and forcing us to completely change our tune. Honestly, kind of like what happened with the whole Johnny Depp thing that we've been covering on the channel. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll catch you in the next one.